Hey, it's good to see you. We are back in Dollar Tree and we're going to organize the over-the-counter stuff. The OTC medication. I just noticed a new thing here. I don't think we've seen these before. These are the, um, these are ibuprofen capsules. They're minis though. You get 10 in here in this cute little box. I don't think I've seen these in here before. I believe that's a new thing. So what we do, if you've never seen any of these videos before, no, I don't work here. Uh, no, nobody ever comes up and asks me what I'm doing. I do this because number one, I enjoy it. And number two, because thousands of people enjoy watching me do it. And the shelves end up nice and straight. I kind of feel like it's a win-win for everybody. That's why I do it. But no, I've made over 200 videos doing this right here. And I have only been approached one time, and that was in Roses, by a manager. And he was fine with it and said, looks good, carry on. No, nobody else has ever confronted me about it. No other store employee has ever asked me anything. So, I just throw that out there. I get that question all the time to the point where I don't even answer it anymore. I just leave you a little trophy emoji for it. I have answered that question hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, just relax. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy. Just enjoy it. Don't, don't overthink it. It's just Dollar Tree. Now sometimes you're going to end up with some that are kind of cockeyed like these because there's the little shelf thing right here that makes them sit a little wonky and I can't do anything about it. See, now we've had these ibuprofen soft gels for a long time, but now we have the little minis also. You get 10 of those. Now let me check. Active ingredient is the same, 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. It's exactly the same, but you get 10 instead of just the six liquid-filled capsules. All right, these look pretty good. This is aspirin, enteric-coated aspirin. This is similar to Bayer low-dose aspirin. 81 milligrams per tablet. Is that per tablet? Yep, that's each tablet is 81 milligrams. And then you also have the chewable low-dose aspirin that's orange-flavored. Did they ever make that in any other flavor, or has it always just been orange flavored? I don't think I've ever seen chewable aspirin that was any other flavor other than orange. And then we have good old back and body. This is aspirin, which is an NSAID, N-S-A-I-D, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, just like ibuprofen and naproxen sodium. Those are also NSAIDs. The difference between this and just aspirin is that this also has caffeine in it. You get 24 caplets in here. Each caplet has 500 milligrams of aspirin, which is way more than that. It's 81. And you get 32.5 milligrams of caffeine per caplet. So there you go. It's going to be 65 milligrams of caffeine for a two tablet dose. Pain relief PM. That is going to be your acetaminophen, which is generic Tylenol with Benadryl. The highlighted part is the active ingredient, acetaminophen, and then you have 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine. That is per caplet. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, each caplet. I guess you only take one then. Well, it, okay. Each caplet has 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine, 500 milligrams of acetaminophen. The standard dose is 1,000 milligrams, but you're going to get 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine, which might be a bit much. I would not want to take 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine. It would knock me out. Okay, down here we have Mucus Relief DM. That is an expectorant and a cough suppressant. It is um, similar to Mucinex, which is just guaifenesin. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, it has guaifenesin. The cough suppressant in here is dextromethorphan. Two, uh, it's 20 milligrams per dose. 400 milligrams of uh, guaifenesin. That's your expectorant. That's going to loosen up the junk in your chest. I know it's gross, but if you have chest congestion, you want to you loosen that up. 
Here we have cold multi-symptom. Now this is going to be something that has multiple active ingredients in it. A lot of times this is not necessary depending on what's wrong with you. Um, what is in here? You have acetaminophen, your Tylenol, dextromethorphan, guaifenesin. So you have a cough suppressant, expectorant, pain reliever, and you also have phenylephrine, which is what they now use for a nasal decongestant instead of pseudoephedrine, which works way better than phenylephrine. Let me stick this back there. But you can no longer get pseudoephedrine um, this way. You have to go to the drug counter. You have to go to a counter in a drug store and get it. You can still get it though. And I know it's, it's a bit of an inconvenience, but I highly recommend it. Pseudoephedrine works way better than phenylephrine does. Phenylephrine is a waste of time in my opinion. And this here, now with this non-drowsy nasal decongestant, this is like generic Sudafed PE, which is just phenylephrine. Don't waste your time with it. That's, that's just my opinion, but I don't think it really does anything. It's, um, I have taken it and it, mm -mm. I tried it and I ended up going to the drugstore to get Sudafedrin. That's probably not going to stay. It's, um, that's a bit unstable there, isn't it? It is. Well, just don't breathe too heavy and maybe it won't fall. Here's another one that has a lot of different things in it. This is like NyQuil liquid caps. This has three things, acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, which is your cough suppressant, and doxylamine succinate, that is your antihistamine. Um, instead of di um, diphenhydramine, they're using this doxylamine succinate. It knocks me out. I, if, if I take that stuff, I can't do anything. Like, I will, I'll be out like a light the rest of the night. I basically have to already be in bed when I take it. I think John Panette, the comedian, talked about, um, NyQuil one time, and I think I think he was the one that said, "Yeah, you just have to basically already be in bed when you take when you take it." <laughs> That's it, man. We have some random pain relief PM down here. Now, all day pain relief. This is your other NSAID. This is naproxen sodium, which is generic Aleve. You get 15 in here. Now that's going to be 15 doses because each do each pill has 220 milligrams which is the standard dose of naproxen sodium and it's wobbly that's not bad you know a dollar for 15 doses of that I'm leaving that back there I think that's that's a pretty good deal if you ask me I don't know if I like it like that um, hmm. Tension headache relief. I almost never get tension headaches. Maybe once a year I will get one. And I, I had one the other day. I was at work and it was just crazy busy. I had a lot to do and out of nowhere up pops this tension headache. And it bugged me all day. I took some Advil and it didn't really help. It wasn't a migraine. It was just a regular old Tension headache. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes, sometimes it happens. I don't get migraines much anymore. I used to get them a lot more often than I do now. They're pretty infrequent these days. Thank goodness. It's not, it's not like a huge problem in my life or anything. Um, yikes. Boy, they're way up there, aren't they? Oh, goodness. There. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's messing up everything. Okay. Back here we have cetirizine. Now that is your generic Zyrtec. You can get 14 doses of Zyrtec, generic Zyrtec, for a dollar. Totally decent price. This is allergy plus uh, sinus headache. Um, and in here you have acetaminophen for the sinus pain and pressure. Diphenhydramine is your antihistamine. And phenylephrine, which is the substandard nasal decongestant. 
12 caplets, that's going to be six doses of that. But a lot of times, you know, if you just have sinus congestion and you don't have a headache, you don't really need this. A lot of times people will buy this, but it has a lot of stuff in it you don't really need. But, you know, they get it because it's like, well, oh my God, that squeaky toy. They get it anyway, but it's not necessary. You end up taking a lot of stuff you don't really need. I'm starting to think that squeaky toy comes from the devil. All right, I'm trying to dodge squeaky toys. There's a kid over there. They're on the pet aisle. They're doggy toys. That kid picked up every squishy toy, every squeaky toy they could hold in their hand and squeezed them all at once. It was like an orchestra of squeaky toys. I'm gonna start hearing those things in my dreams at night. That's funny I am. Now here we have generic Allegra. This is Fexofenidine. Fexofenidine, these are all in the same drug family. You have diphenhydramine, Fexofenidine, Cetirizine, Doxolamine, all these things are in the same drug family. And, you know, you have to just kind of play around with them and see which one works best for you. Honestly, I think the doses are so low that they don't really do as much as they should. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I have trouble with allergies in the spring and fall. I know, eat local honey. I tried that. It didn't do anything for me. I take Benadryl, but I have to take it at night because it makes me so sleepy. I, there's no way I can take it during the day. It's, it's just, it kills me. It's so sleep. It makes me so sleepy. Okay, here we have Cymethicone. 120 milligrams per dose. That's the adult dose. The baby dose, I believe, is 80, 80 milligrams. This stuff right here is pretty great. This is a Nature Garden Sleep Aid. It's melatonin and some other stuff. It's actually pretty wonderful. Um, you get eight doses of it for a dollar, and it's it's pretty great. All right, magnesium citrate. Oh, the other question I get all the time. Don't customers look at you weird? They literally don't. They walk right past me. And even if they do look at me weird, I don't care because I don't pay my bills. Then you can get stuff like this. Now you're going to find stuff that says sleep aid. But if you look at the active ingredient, it's just diphenhydramine. There's nothing magical or fancy in here. It's just diphenhydramine, 25 milligrams. So you can either get 12 of these. Now that's going to be six doses because you have to take... No, wait a minute. Maybe you only have to take one of these. Because it's 25 milligrams per soft gel. Um... No, it says two. It says one dose is two soft gels, 50 milligrams. So you, that's only six doses. I wouldn't take two of these. It would knock me out. I would start with just one. But anyway, you can either get 12 soft gels for a dollar or 36 tablets for a dollar. But it's the exact same drug. The only difference is these are in these little soft gels. That is literally the only difference. Or... You can get this, and this is maximum strength. Now, this does have 50 milligrams per soft gel. So that's eight, like, double doses. So it'd be like 16 of these soft gels if you wanted 50 milligrams per dose, which I think is quite a lot. I could, there's no way I could take 50 milligrams. I would be useless the next day. It leaves me, when I take diphenhydramine, it leaves me feeling kind of hungover the next day. Like, I have this brain fog the next day when I take it. Not always, but sometimes it leaves me just feeling kind of drowsy the next day. Nighttime sleep aid. Ooh. Warming berry flavor. That sounds ominous. That sounds really yucky. I don't know about that. Daytime cold and flu relief. This stuff is really nasty, but you know, I guess if you're sick, it's better than nothing. What is in nighttime cold and flu relief? This is like NyQuil. 
Same stuff as the liquid caps, acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, and doxylene succinate. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but if I am, I don't care. What is this? Now, this is like Robitussin right here. Tussin. Anytime you see Tussin, that's generic Robitussin. Mucus and chest congestion. congestion. Guafenicin, 200 milligrams, and that's it. This is just guafenicin, um, which is really good stuff. Now, you can get Mucinex, which is just guafenicin if you get the plain Mucinex, and you're going to pay a whole lot more than a dollar for it. Um, and you can also get the generic guafenicin in tablets if you don't like the taste of the liquid, which I do not because this stuff right here is really, really nasty. <laughs> it tastes really bad. I don't like it. Um, good old pink bismuth. This is like Pepto-Bismol. We've all been there. <laughs> How much is this? Let's see. Four ounces. Uh, it's just bismuth. That's all it is. If you've never needed it in your life, you're not doing bad. Okay. Pink bismuth. We have a little army of it over here, don't we? Look at all this bismuth. There is a man over there who is so excited that they have stickers in here. Okay, I just figured out why. He's in here with his teenage son and he's just... <laughs> He's just messing with his son. I do the same thing when I'm in the store with my kids. I just, I will, I will do and say things just to get, <laughs> just to get on their nerves sometimes. Just mess with them a little bit. I don't do it a lot, but I will, I will just kind of pester them a little bit. <laughs> He's over there going, they've got stickers with pizza on it. <laughs> his son is standing there like, seriously? Oh, nasal strips. I have never tried these from here. Somebody told me they were no good. You get six in here for a dollar. That's a lot cheaper than the other ones. Now, it is hard for me to reach back there. I try my best. These are from Assured. Most of the OTC stuff here is from that company. I tried. What was it? It wasn't Breathe Right that I tried. There was one brand of nasal strips I tried and they didn't stay on very well. I put them on just like they said to and they just they pop right off. It says 40% superior hold. Does that mean it's only superior like 40% of the time? 20% more coverage. Now it is kind of wide like it comes out that way. Hmm. I don't know. I just know it's really annoying when I'm trying to go to sleep and I can't because my nose is all stuffed up. That drives me crazy. I can't reach those back there. The nasal spray is in the way and these boxes fall over very easily. See? Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. I'm gonna leave them like oh, dang it. I'm gonna leave them like they are now. Now we have the nasal relief spray. This is anti-drip pump mist. The active ingredient in the nasal spray is oxymetazoline hydrochloride. Now that is um, generic Afrin nasal spray. And then we have this one here. Now this is also oxymetazoline. Okay, 0.05%. That is also 0.05% pump mist. I'm trying to figure out what the difference is, but it has the exact same stuff in it. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. It's hard to reach back there. And then we also have just plain old saline nasal spray, which is, um, you know, there's, there's no, it's just saline. There are no drugs in there or anything. It's, all it is is just salt water, basically to help if you have nasal congestion. I've used it. And it's a lot cheaper here. I bought my uh, saline nasal spray here. It works just like the stuff you pay four or five dollars for at Walgreens. It's the exact same stuff. I mean, all it is is salt water. Here we have Medic's Choice Eye Drops Artificial Tears lub Lubricant for your eyes. And I have also bought eye drops here, and they work just, just fine. 
What is this? Test booster. I'm guessing by the picture these are not for me. Increases libido. Lord, I don't think I need that. That's uh, not a factor in my life, so let's leave that here. Increased testosterone. Okay, and we have apple cider vinegar with no bitter aftertaste. I know people that just drink straight apple cider vinegar. It's so nasty, I just can't imagine. You gonna smell like an Easter egg. And then they have these cute little bottles of antacid. I just love these little bottles. They are adorable. Aren't they cute? And again, I have difficulty reaching all the way back there. You get 60 of these. Now, antacid is nothing but calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, that's all that is. So if you need a calcium supplement, you can also eat these if you don't want to take a calcium tablet supplement. Although calcium citrate is more easily absorbed by the body than calcium carbonate. I take um, generic Citracal, which is calcium citrate, because the body the body has an easier time absorbing that. Just, just a tip. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's supposed to uh, supposed to work better. I figure if I'm gonna take calcium, I want it, I want my body to be able to do something with it. Hey, they have Transformers band aids. Cute. Now, turn it. Stand up, Bumblebee. Quit being like that. Sesame Street. These are a hot mess. Barbie. Minions, ugly dolls. My son and I were gonna go see that and then we never did. I don't know what happened, I forgot all about it. PJ masks. I'm gonna try to bring these forward without knocking them all down. I'm not promising anything. The minions back here. Want to be difficult. Barbie, trolls. There it's just an assortment. They're all mixed up. I'm not gonna worry about it. As soon as one excited kid comes down through here, they're gonna get knocked over anyhow. It really it really doesn't matter. No, they're not they're not perfectly lined up I'm sorry <laughs> I really am the band-aids are are tough to do um, yeah that's precarious somebody came down through here a minute ago and messed up my little stacks she did. She grabbed ibuprofen. Thought she grabbed something else. She messed this up. That is generic emodium. That's low paramide hydrochloride antidiarrheal. And up here you have the little travel packs, which these are nice to keep in your purse or if you're actually traveling somewhere. Here's some Zantac. Now, Zantac is ranitidine, R-A-N-I-T-I-D-I-N-E. That is generic Zantac, but this is brand name Zantac. You get two whole doses in here for a dollar. Uh, they don't have any generic ranitidine out on the shelf. They just have the little thing of Zantac, but you can't win them all. But anyway, look, look how pretty that looks. Just, just focus on this right here. <laughs> And focus on these two shelves and a little bit of the band-aids down below I think that looks a lot better thank you so much for hanging out with me and helping me fix this up I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again really soon